Hi everyone. I hope you all had a really good Thanksgiving. So I've been putting off filming this video for a bit because every time I decide I'm going to film it, I'm still waiting on something that's coming from Amazon. So finally I'm going to go ahead and film. This is my um, stationary junk journal Amazon haul. Um, this is probably over the span of maybe two months, I guess. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with this. Now these are friction pins. Um, they're the retractable ones. There's a set of three. The pink one I have at work. Um, I figured I don't like pink. It's my least favorite. So I'm going to use that one first and save the two that I do like, which is the purple and the mint. So um, these are really pretty. I don't know if they're limited edition. I think they might be, but I did get this off of Amazon for about maybe $11, I think, for three. Um, this is Fine Point, and at first I thought, oh, it's going to be really scratchy, but it actually um, writes really smooth. The only problem is that, that the ink is not, this is black ink, it's not very dark. It's almost like gray because it's a fine point. But I like them um, because I do a lot of writing at work. I needed something where I could definitely erase because I do intakes on the phone sometimes and um, you know, people sometimes they forget what their phone number is, they start giving it off and then they realize that they're giving me the wrong number so I have to scratch it off. I'd rather erase it off. So yeah, so I got these. Um, next pen. I decided to go ahead and try the Koweco sports pen. I didn't realize that it was made in Germany, so you could say it's my first non-Japanese fountain pen. Um, the color that I chose is mint in a fine nib. I, I wanted to go ahead and try this because I like how it's so compact, but I did not expect it to be, the, the casing to be so lightweight, you know? There we go, let's see, it says Koweco. If I can get it to focus. Hopefully, nope, nope, minimum distance. I still won't focus, anyways. Um, so you have to twist this off, okay? And there you go. The nib has a really cute design. I don't know if that focused, but I will test this out on camera after I've gone over the other pens. So we have that, okay? And on to the next set of pens. I don't know if I showed this. I picked, I went ahead and finally got the vintage um, ink, the Sarasa sets. I don't. I think there's a new set that just came out, but I'm I'm fine with these. Um, when I was in Japan, I did see these, but you know, I didn't pick them up at the time. I was just kind of like, eh. But now that I'm really into Sarasa, I love these. Um, these will look really great when I want to try a different color in my Hobonichi. So. And then the last set of pens I got, this was a um, seven pack of uh, Preppy Platinum fountain pens. This was $18, I think. So if you think, yeah, you think about it, um, came out to about how much it would probably cost for each pen. But I just wanted to try it. That way I don't have to try buying different inks, you know? Um, I can just use these because I don't think I'm going to be like primarily using, I mean exclusively using a particular color out of these. It's just when I feel like I want to use a red or a pink or green. I don't know when I would use a yellow, but it's always good to have. If anything, I really will be using these three right here. I haven't even like, um, you know, opened that one because I've already got two other platinum preppy, um, fountain pens plus an, a limited edition one. So I will test these out on my Hobonichi um, in a bit. So let's get all of these pens out of the way and we'll move on to, excuse me, the one washi that I did get from Amazon. Now this is PET tape or PET tape. It's um, clear tape, clear water. I wouldn't even call it washi really. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut out the design that you want to use and then um, stick it. So you can see here they're blue leaves, not blue, leaves, <laughs> blue flowers of various kinds. I don't know if that's in focus. Um, and then you can just peel off the backing and stick it. So I've been holding on to this. I haven't actually used it because I wanted to film it first. And to my surprise, 
on the inside of the roll, you don't really get many, as you can see, there were some white stickers, which I did use one already, so you can see that. Okay, not many, but um, that was still a pleasant surprise. I've been seeing other people posting about these on Amazon, and Amazon, on Instagram. I can't talk today, sorry. Um, this is what happens when you've been off for three days from work and you slept in until 10 o'clock. I meant to film this video last night, but I got lazy and then I got sleepy and I thought I'll get up early and film it. Nope. <laughs> so now I'm filming it and it's probably already noon. So I'm going to be putting up this video late. Anyways, um, I like I said, I've been seeing people posting about this on Instagram, so I, I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. I didn't want to have to order from AliExpress and wait two months to get it. So um, I paid a little bit more, probably $5.99, $6.99 for this tape. And then let's get on to this right here. So these right here are um, little dictionary libraries. It's a dictionary library series by the brand MoCard. And basically, they are, um, you can use this for junk journaling or even in your um, Poe Nature Travels notebook. So let me see if I can find, here it is. So if you open it up, so it would have like a word in there with the meaning, like this one is acceptance, right? So it's like just various words that, you know, you just look for the word that you want and then you would just like do a layout or whatnot. See, I just thought this was really cute when I saw it. Uh, yeah, a hobby. A small blackish falcon with a whitish chest and chestnut legs. An activity engaged in your pleasure and relaxation for spare time. Um, now stupid me went cheap and paid $8.99 I think for this. Well, I didn't realize that I didn't get the complete alphabet because the it ends, let's see, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G to J, K to M, N to P. So it ends at P. I went back and looked and yeah, there is one that has all the alphabet. So it's okay. Um, I guess when I use these up, then I can go ahead and order another set with the complete, um, you know, alphabet. So here's another one. Oh wait, we already did that one. Let's go here. So we got lot, luxury, you know, and machine. Yeah, I think it's cute. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this. Um, and then the last one, I swore that I was not gonna order any more of these, but I ended up, because this was a bigger lot. And although they're smaller, I know I could get these cheaper on AliExpress, but I just don't want to wait, you know, with the way that mail is coming from China right now. Um, so it's just more of those aesthetic type of um, sets, you know, depending on the color scheme. So for instance, like this one, it looks like it's like golden hour. So you have a lot of oranges. Let me get it focused. There we go. Then we've got the blues. So we got a lot of like the sky, the clouds, you know, the beach, that kind of stuff. Uh, the light green. Some of these have been like obviously photoshopped, altered to fit with the color aesthetic. But I like using this also in my collage work. Um, I've purchased some of these similar types, so you guys, have, I'm sure, have seen them. So yeah, that's what I got from Amazon. So, as I said, we're gonna do a pen test. So I've got my Hobonichi here, so let's get to today's date, which is, what is today? Today's Saturday. Okay, today is the 27th, so here we go. Let me put this up. And sorry, once again, now it's the heater that's going off. Okay, so we're going to start with the Coeco. Um, this will probably be the only Coeco that I order. Um, 
I kind of prefer the Japanese ones. So it feels really good holding it, okay? So let's see. It's because I don't have this. I'm like thinking, why is my handwriting like that? is really bad here <laughs> it's because I'm kind of hunched over this is a low table how do I spell this Coeco okay there we go yeah really bad and <laughs> right this will be good for like in your purse because obviously it's a uh, very compact okay so let's go ahead and start with the Platinum Preppies. Okay, uh, so we're not using the black. Okay, let's go start with the pink. I think pink was the one that I had a hard time trying to get to flow for some reason. So, actually, let me do this first. See, this just writes much more smoother. Even though it's a, this is also a fine, it, it feels better than that. can't even see this. <laughs> it's so light. Ugh. Kind of hurts. I'm hunched over, like I said, over this little Ikea table. that concludes the haul for today. <laughs> I've got a series of hauls that I've got to film because I've not posted anything for the last two weeks so, and I've been putting it off. So making a good use of my um, holiday time here. All right, so I hope everyone's having a great weekend and I will see you in the next haul. Bye-bye.